Okay guys, I thought it was about time to show you a quick tutorial on the iPad Tractor DJ. Um, so it's very simple. Um, if we pull up from the very bottom, we have our play, uh, our songs right here, and our playlists. We can sort by artists, albums, and genre. So I just have some songs that I threw in from iTunes, just uh, plugged the iPad into iTunes, dragged on the tracks, and now I have them here. Um, I'm not synced with the Tractor Pro, so none of them were beat gridded. So it just took a little while to go through the tracks and it automatically added um, the uh, the BPM here in the side and uh, and the note, notation value here, so the key of the track. So it's really simple to load up a track, hit the track, load it into deck A by dragging this up. Now you see there's no beat grids on here, so we can we can lay one. Literally tap this and add a grid, and then you have a grid. Okay, we can do the same on the second track here. And we can just Add a grid to that, and then we have we can jump around using the grid markers here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how to record. Basically, um, in the top corner here, we have um, a speaker symbol, and there's a record button right there. So we go ahead, press record, and now we're recording. You can see it turns red here. So we can we can start the track here. We've got effects. We can lock them in. So when we move our finger off, it stays. We can leave it locked and close it the effect stays on, move the effect by just pressing the effect here. Then we can jump around and leave cue points. Okay, so let's get rid of the effect here, and that's pretty much how you record. Now, how do we get the recording off? Let's stop the recording here, finished recording, let's stop the tracks. So now we've finished recording, how do we get the the track. So let's go and uh, have a look at that. Okay, so you want to connect your iPad to iTunes and then head into the apps section right here. And if we scroll down in the apps section, right the way down, you can see all the apps down here. Then let's hit track to DJ and over here we have our waves so we recorded our mini set there today on the 12th of March and we can save it to or add it to something so let's save to and this is where our hard drive comes up and we can save it let's just save it to the desktop and uh, we're good so now we can go to our desktop okay here it is so we can double click this and then it opens up in itunes and 
let's have a listen to it. That's the one. And we have a wave. It's as simple as that. Good luck with your uh, iPad mixes.